Welcome to the FITIC Contract Management Channel. In this video, we will explain how to make, process, and resolve a claim under a FITIC Silverbook EPC contract. The Silverbook contract is used for turnkey and engineering, procurement, and construction contracts, which can be priced on a fixed lump sum basis or can be a combination of fixed prices and unit prices. In this session, we are going to talk about Clause 20, which applies for claims made by the employer as well as claims made by the contractor. For any claim, it is very important that the claim is notified as soon as possible within the applicable time frame, and with as much details as possible, this will enable a proper review by the other party in order to provide an initial response in a timely manner. Both parties shall comply with the claim provisions because unresolved claims can lead to more delays, disputes, and possible arbitration. Every contract should have administration requirements, which include the forms to be used, reports to be made, and work flowcharts, which explain the process steps to take. The claiming party shall prepare a notice of claim, which describes the claim event, reason for the claim, and the estimated effect on the schedule and contract price. The notice form shall be duly signed and sent to the other party within the applicable period. The receiving party shall review the claim notice and prepare an initial response. If the receiving party disagrees with the claim notice, then they shall prepare and issue a notice of rejection with their reasons for rejection within the applicable period. Upon receipt of a notice of rejection, the claiming party can decide to withdraw its claim or to prepare and submit a fully detailed claim form which shall clearly state if there are continuing effects or not, meaning if the claim is an interim claim or final claim. The employer's representative shall review the fully detailed claim and send a notice of rejection in case late submission or other reasons. Otherwise, subclause 3.5 regarding agreement or determination shall be followed. For interim claims with continuing effects, subclause 20.2.6 shall be followed. If the contractor receives a notice of rejection for its fully detailed claim, then it can decide to withdraw its claim or submit an updated fully detailed claim, including its detailed explanation why its claim is valid. The employer representative shall thereafter follow subclause 3.5 regarding agreement or determination in order to resolve the claim. It is recommended to use standard forms for the notice of claim because this ensures that all required data and information is included. Ensure that forms are fully completed and are signed by a duly authorized personnel. After submission of the notice of claim, a fully detailed claim form shall be prepared and submitted within the applicable time period, including supporting documentation. It is important to understand that notices can be sent by means of a form or a letter. In all cases, the word notice shall be clearly stated on the form or letter, as well as reference to the relevant subclause or clauses of the general conditions and or particular conditions. Furthermore, notices shall be signed by duly authorized personnel, which have been given delegated authority in accordance with the contract. The administration requirements shall specify what the reporting requirements and frequency of reporting are. Normally, a claims register is prepared, which shall clearly show the status of the claim resolution process. The report can be submitted in various formats or can be generated by the applicable contract management system. The administration requirements shall also specify claim resolution meetings, which shall be held on a regular basis between the parties in order to discuss, clarify, negotiate, and agree the claims. If no resolution can be achieved, then the dispute resolution provisions of the contract shall be followed. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also check the video description for any free downloads.